Hey guys, welcome to Motorstorm uh, Pacific Rift. Oh yeah. So, and after the that gameplay of the very first Motorstorm, yeah, I promised you guys that I would bring my favorite Motorstorm, and uh, yeah, here it is. More Storm Pacific Rift, a PS3 exclusive. Um, yeah, this intro is in uh, Portuguese. Yeah, just like yeah, the new Dakar 18 that is coming by summer. A terra prepare-se Bem-vindo ao Motor Storm <laughs> Man, this is my favorite, as I said, my favorite Motor Storm Yeah, I absolutely love this game Because of these awesome um, forests and uh, Man, these remote places uh, With that that uncharted vibe, you know, an amazing game from again from a company that uh, Sony closed down. Those Sony guys, crazy. Yeah, I'm not gonna curse, but I wanted to. So let's <coughs> let's just race, man. Let's race, man! Yeah, look at these beautiful places. Amazing stuff. Come on, come on. Whoa, yeah, man. Let's go! Come on! Oh, man. Was it Arnold Schwarzenegger in Terminator 2? <laughs> in that truck? But I'm not on a bike. And uh, yeah, Schwarzenegger was was uh, on top on the bike, you know. Yeah, come on. Whoa, yeah, man, I absolutely love this game. One of the last fun arcade racers that we had. Uh, yeah, in the, these uh, recent past recent years, you know, yeah, yeah, okay. Man, this is so amazing. Look at this, man. Yeah, oi! Ho ho ho! Yeah. So. Which... Which Motorstorm is your favorite? Yeah. This is my favorite, but... Uh, Apocalypse, uh, the third uh, PS3 PS3 installment, uh, is also a a great game, but I really prefer to play it in stereoscopic 3D. Yeah, you know, have you tried it? I've um, I've made a video last year about oh man. Um, I've made a video about um, 3D stereoscopic 3D games for this generation for the the PS3 and the Xbox 360. I uh, don't know if you guys if you guys uh, watched that that video. It was awesome to 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 create that uh, that episode uh, and discover all those uh, 3D games that is a technology that is completely forgotten uh, for home use um, in cinemas it's, it, it continues to yeah to rock the place down but for home con for, for home uh, consume uh, yeah for, uh, man Talking and racing is complicated, you know. 
And um, yeah, as I was saying, yeah, okay. Stereoscopy 3D games. Uh, the Motorstorm Apocalypse in 3D is really amazing with all the water and um, and stuff uh, being splashed in our faces you know don't know if you if you guys have uh, tried the Motorstorm Apocalypse in 3D is something amazing and uh, Uncharted 3 the third Uncharted uh, is also an amazing game. Oh yeah, baby! <laughs> uh, Uncharted, the third installment of Uncharted in 3D, stereoscopic 3D, is also an amazing game. There's an Assassin's Creed, uh, two Assassin Assassin's Creed uh, games, at least, um, and Sonic Generations. Is an incredible game in 3D, stereoscopic 3D. You must try all those, all those games. Yeah, first place, man. Yeah. Moving on. Moving on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sorry if the menus are in Portuguese, but yeah. Yeah, this green, half green and half uh, uh, red truck, just like uh, the Portuguese flag. There's, it misses uh, a bit of yellow, but uh, yeah, it's just like the Portuguese flag. <laughs> hey, okay. Hey, there's the shortcut. Okay, we're gonna try that shortcut in the next lap. Whoa, look at this! Yeah! This is just like downhill domination on the PS2. Another, another exclusive game that I would love to see a remaster. I've already tried the Senders, the, the recent um, uh, mountain bike game, downhill game. Uh, uh, honestly, I don't like it, man. I prefer by far downhill domination on the ps2 such an amazing game one of my favorites my favorite game on the ps2 on the ps2 if you watch my top 10 you know that the downhill domination downhill domination is my favorite ps2 game of all time check it out let's try now uh, yeah, ho ho! Ah! <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we were talking about stereoscopic 3D games. Have you tried? Yeah, uh, recently uh, Shadow of the Colossus was uh, remastered. Yeah, for PS4. I haven't played it yet. I want to buy that game when um, yeah when the price when the price uh, drops so uh, I've played uh, you know that that compilation of uh, with Shadow of the Colossus and uh, Ico or Ico I sincerely don't know um, how it's pronounced is it Ico or Ico yeah uh, that compilation for the PS3 uh, of Eco and Shadow of the Colossus as also the... Uh, yeah, oh, okay, first place uh, Eco or Ico, Eco or Ico and Shadow of the Colossus, the compilation for the PS3 as is also compatible, uh, 3D stereoscopic, uh, compatible with uh, stereoscopic 3D. And uh, I must say, yeah, man, come on. I must say that Hiko and Shadow of the Colossus in 3D, um, I, 
Shadow of the Colossus is a man. Oh, whoa, man! <laughs> Shadow of the Colossus is an absolutely gorgeous in stereoscopic 3D. And uh, oh man, no one talks about it. Oh man, uh, just just a bit of uh, a fire, and I was completely destroyed. Um. No one talks about uh, th uh, stereoscopic 3D on Ico and on Shadow of the Colossus. Why? Um, I played both games. I did not finish them yet. Um, but I want to finish those two. Mostly, or uh, um, yeah, let's go through here to, to calm things down. Okay, I, I want to play uh, Shadow of the Colossus in 3D from beginning to end, and then pick the remastered version and compare those two. Um, I already know that the remastered version is way gorgeous graphically. Oh, uh, the remastered version is obviously a lot uh, graphically a lot better, but in terms of uh, immersion. Um, feeling the depth of view I guess that uh, the PS3 PS3 uh, stereoscopic 3D re remastered uh, the the 3D the PS3 version was already a remaster it wasn't just a port of the PS2 an upscaled version of the PS2 version original game it's already a remastered game. And um, sincerely, I guess that I'm gonna prefer the PS3 version in stereoscopic 3D. Just saying. But I. Uh, careful. <laughs> um, but I have to um, first play it uh, all th all through to the end uh, from beginning to end and then grab the PS4 remastered version and do the same yeah but enough yeah okay third place yeah not bad talking and playing is hard so let's go to another one uh, this uh, I, I I really enjoy this track. Let's go with the track once more, man. These forests, man. The colored green <laughs> is is my favorite. That's why it's a pixel thing logo. Is green, yeah. And uh, yeah, and our flag is green and red. And uh, my favorite soccer team, Portuguese soccer team, is Sporting. And it's green, you know? Yeah. But uh, uh, I don't know, but you prob you're probably thinking that I have a green car. No, I don't have a green car. I did own uh, around uh, I don't know 20 years ago I owned a green car <laughs> it was my first car a Ford Fiesta Ford Fiesta a green Ford Fiesta yeah way careful man yeah these arcade racers are 
pretty cool because uh, we crash these cars we we end up without wheels and uh, the car completely completely trashed and a second later it's all beautiful and cleaned and with uh, every everything uh, on its place yeah <laughs> if it was a simulator yeah we wouldn't pass the first hey man uh, where are you going man oh, okay uh, is it safe to go through here yeah maybe <laughs> okay now Nathan Drake jumps down from a tree and we give him a lift yeah why not yeah let's calm things down hey. Someone was there. A native. Ah, man! Careful, man. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. So, um, since the the last uh, gameplay that I that I recorded of um, uh, the first Motorstorm, I talked about MX versus ZTV all out. So, um. Yeah. First place. Let's continue. Oh yeah. A lot of points and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. Let's move on. So, uh I was uh talking about um what I said, uh, let's go with the buggy. Buggy? Yeah, buggy. In this volcanic site. So I was saying that... Uh, I was saying that... Uh, in that, uh, that Motorstorm uh, gameplay, I, I, I talked about... I mentioned that I was... Uh, I had... Uh, I pre-ordered the MX vs ATV all out for the PS4. But a, a couple of days uh, before before the game was uh, released, I cancelled that pre-order because I start seeing stuff all over the internet, stuff people complaining about uh, that the game was badly optimized and that uh, there was no water effects. Hey man, <laughs> and I cancelled the, the pre-order, but I'm right. End up trying the PC version, and uh, I was absolutely disappointed with the game. And uh, it's that old, um, that old story, or. Or that recent old story that developers launch games incomplete games you know and try to fix them later that is absolutely stupid and I won't buy a game in those conditions I refuse to buy a game in those conditions now comes the part when I have to talk about Drive Club that we all know that it was, that it was rushed to stores it was completely broken unfinished but they, uh, later they released a 19 gigabyte update that corrected all the stuff, all the bad stuff. And Drive Club is an amazing game, an absolutely gorgeous and uh, overwhelming and mind blowing game that led that led to the fate uh, of Evolution Studios that we all know. Sony closed them down. They fired a lot of uh, uh, 
Oh man. <laughs> the fire Sony fires. I am gonna not gonna make it! <laughs> so Sony Yes, uh, said goodbye to a lot of uh, of Evolution Studios employees, but uh, gladly they found job uh, at Code Masters and uh, Big um, Big Moon Studios, Big Big Moon Entertainment. Gladly. So Drive Club led to the to the disappearance of Evolution Studios, this awesome studio, British studio that uh, was formed by former employees of Cygnosis. Cygnosis that was also part of uh, the Sony Empire. Oh yeah, I miss Cygnosis. Those amazing covers uh, back in the 80s and 90s for the Commodore Amiga, mainly for 16-bit. Oh man, where are you going, man? <laughs> yeah, okay. I miss Cygnosis. I miss Evolution Studios. Uh, yeah. It's life. Life moves on. And we have to do the same. Good Masters is still rocking since the 80s. They started making games for the ZX Spectrum. The Darling Brothers. Yeah. Okay. First place. This is ours. This is my beach. So let's try the truck once more. Yeah. Okay, okay. And um, hey guys, feel free to, to leave below all your thoughts about the MotorStorm franchise once again and about life <laughs> what have you been playing these um, yeah past weeks and um, be careful are you a fan of this uh, style of uh, games? So oh, careful, man. Careful. Uh, come on. Hey! We were just stuck. So, do you are you are you a fan of arcade racers? This is um, the evolution from. Sega Rally! <laughs> I, I... Man, I can't comprehend how games... Recent racing games, just like Gravel and MX vs ATV, all out. <sighs> can't offer a... A man realistic um, effects of uh, water and dust and dirt. I don't understand, man. As, as you know, Gravel was released recently, by March, also. And uh, uh, there's no water effects, just just some some uh, a bit of water splashed to the screen, sh the the windscreen, windscreen, and that's it. And these games. Ooh, that were released almost 10 years ago. Offer all that and much more. I guess that um, uh, these developers, uh, Rainbow Studios, that they are called uh, simply Rainbow nowadays, 
And uh, milestone. Uh, yeah, they are using the 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 last uh, the last uh, generation of the Unreal Engine. Oh man! So they are still trying to figure out how to do all those effects and stuff. Yeah. And talking about milestone, they've just announced this week that a new MX MX game, motocross game, is coming. A, a MX GP Pro, uh, something like that. Yeah. Okay, third place is enough. We can continue. So let's continue our journey. One more, uh, one more race. Yeah, and we. One more race. Let's let's try the big track. Big track. So milestone just uh, announced that uh, this year. Uh, I don't know September or October. I don't recall correctly. They're gonna release a new MX game, MX GP Pro, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, pro, that means professional. <laughs> so, Milestone is gonna going to release a new motocross game, uh, a new motocross simulator. Um, a new motocross simulator, man. And again, it's 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 gonna use uh, the Unreal Engine. And uh, today or uh, yesterday, today I believe, it was also announced that the um, their GP Moto GP uh, franchise. A licensed franchise is also going to use the Unreal Engine. It's and it's being uh, it's being uh, made from the ground up in this new engine. So, Moto GP. I used to play MotoGP games uh, in the early years of the PS2 and PC also, and on PC also. Uh, I'm not sure, but uh, the license, the MotoGP license, was uh, in the hands of Electronic Arts by then. No, Namco. I, I don't recall correctly. Ha <laughs> ha! Eat that, man. <laughs> Um, so Milestone is, uh, man, is uh, in every front, you know, motocross, superbikes, uh, rally and stuff, uh, and uh, that Manx TT, uh, the Isle of Man, uh, is also from Milestone. Isn't it? I uh, didn't try that one. And I don't think that uh, I'm gonna try it. Uh, at least at this point. Why? <laughs> so, Milestone is, is all over the place. Since they, they've... Uh, since they've uh, ditched the WRC license to Big Ben, they are all over the place. They have uh, that, yeah, that other franchise, right? Yeah. So, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in my next video. Okay? Cheers.